And yo, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at another LEGO uh, video. Today I ordered some more fake LEGO figures online, and I did get the One Piece ones. The first character we're going to look at is Brooke, and this is Brooke. Uh, he's the skeleton guy. He did not come with his hat, however, the afro he did come with didn't fit on his head properly, so I did have to make a quick change. So I gave him this straw hat here. It's not the same as the one Luffy has, however, it is a very good one uh, for him to represent with, pardon me. He has some nice pink legs with some flowers on, some nice arm printing, back torso printing of some of this orange fluff on his jacket there. He has some nice glasses, he has... A big cheesy grin on his face. He does come with a little sword as well. Pretty cool character. Uh, I do like this one. Uh, Brooke is one of my favorite characters from One Piece. He's a funny skeleton man. Moving on to the next one, which is uh, Luffy. He is the one who's going to become the Pirate King. Uh, he does have a very big straw hat, some nice hair. He does have an alternate face expression, which you can see bleeding out here. But he has some nice back torso printing. Uh, nice foot printing all the way around. Leg printing all the way around. No arm printing. However, if you do take off his... Hat and hair, you get it. his first look, which is quite stern, and then his second look, where he does look quite angry and sweaty. Uh, I prefer this one. It reminds me more of Luffy, uh, other than his more, like, cartoonic face. I forget how this hair goes on. There you go. Uh, so that is Luffy. Uh, pretty cool character. Moving on to the next one, one of the main straw hats. This is Nami. Uh, she has the bracelet there, which is pretty cool. She has the jeans. Um... Pretty cool figure. Uh, she isn't one of my favourite characters, but it's nice to get her in here. Um, and, yeah, she does come with this white pearl and some, like, friend's hair in a ginger. However, it's a very, like, hard plastic instead of the rubber uh, that we usually get. So, moving on to the next one, which is Robin, I do believe she is called. Could be wrong. However, I do believe she is called Robin. Uh, taking off the hair, which is more of, like, a rubber... Uh, you can see some glasses there, get a better look at her back torso printing. Uh, she has weird arm printing, she only has like one-sided arm printing, that could just be like a mistake given to my figure, or not, I don't know. But she has some nice leg printing that does go all the way around onto the back with her red shoes, and her little sort of dress there. I don't really like her, but moving on to the next character, which is Sanji. I think, I might have got that wrong, but he is the smoker one with the fire feet. He is one of my favourite characters. He is quite cool. He's got a dapper suit on there. He has a nice arm printing on both arms. Some feet printing there. Nothing on the back. He is quite a basic figure, however, however he is one of the more cooler characters. Uh, and then we have Sanji's brother here, who fights with the weird pearl thing here. Um, he does come with this nice little cut thing. Uh... Nice torso printing, leg printing, face printing, and a new hair mold, which is pretty cool. And it is used quite a few times with this, like, figure set. Um, there is quite a few of the, that hair piece in different colors. We have it in black, red, and yellow, I do believe. So, moving on to the next one, we are going to put this guy here. I don't know who this guy is, actually. I'm very upset by that. Um, however, the red hair here, the muscles, the arm printing, that can barely be seen there. Uh... The nice leg printing with the toe printing. Uh, shiny trousers there. Nice cape piece, which does cover him pretty much pretty well. He has some scars over his eye, but other than that, pretty cool figure. Moving on to the next one, which is a, the, a naked dude. Uh, he's very muscle, uh, very macho, got the muscles. He's got another one of them, like, uh, bracelets that Nami has. Uh, I don't remember who this guy is. Um, but he's got a lot of muscles. He is working for, like, a villain, or, like, one of the enemy pirate gangs. Uh, due to the thing on his back, he has some nice leg printing. Uh, only on the front, though. Uh, he has a lot of muscle printing, though, which is quite cool. Uh, and then that hair in black. He does look quite... I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna stay... I'm gonna say he looks quite, like... I don't know. I don't know what he looks like. I can't think of the word. Uh, however, moving on to another character here, he has some, like, printing on his legs, printing on his hat, looks like Gon's father, with the, like, hat there, however, it, he is part of the straw hats, and he does have the one piece on his chest, um, he has some nice sort of tattoo of cogs on his arms, he has a sword, and, um, he has some weird feathers up there, um, he has a sword, some jeans, not a too interesting looking figure, however he is a cool character, if he is who I'm thinking he is. Um, however, I can't remember his name. 
Uh, moving on to another character here who has robot legs by the looks of things. He's wearing speeders, he's got muscles, he's got a Hawaiian shirt on, he's got some stab gauntlets on, he's got some blue buzz cut, some nice glasses, a big nose, and he does look quite robotic. Uh, he has some big muscles though, some massive muscles. He has some toes as well, no side leg printing, no... Oh, there is back leg printing for his like back of speedos, I guess. Uh, not too much of an interesting character. Uh, I don't know some of these characters, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Another character I don't know, I think he, like, fixes ships, just gonna go off that. Uh, he has a nice sort of hat printing. Uh, I assume he works for the star guy, because he has star tattoos, uh, on his arm. He has a Hawaiian shirt on, he's got some black speedos, he's got hairy legs and no feet printing other than his toes. He's got no shoes on. Uh, he looks like a mechanic and his hair print is pretty cool because he does have the gap on his forehead. So you can see his forehead and his eyebrows through the over the top of the glasses, sorry. Moving on to one of the generals, which are the people hunting the uh, pirates. One of the marines, I do believe. Uh, probably one of the marine captains. Uh, he does look quite angry. and He does have a little marine hat there. He has a little flower there. Um, no back toss up printing, no back leg printing. So it's just the sort of symbol here. Uh, sorry, I don't know what it says. Uh, moving on to another character who also looks like he's from the Marines, because uh, he wears the same sort of cloak here. Um, he is wearing a white suit. He has a very detailed face print there. He has a uh, grey buzz cut, and he looks pretty pretty angry, to be fair. He looks pretty angry, but he looks like chaotically angry, um, if that makes sense. Uh, moving on to the last figure I got in this bundle, which is this guy who is a pirate. Uh, because he is the guy on... Yeah, he's a pirate, because obviously it's it, it's this guy. Uh, but he does not have the symbol on his back. He just has the cloak. Uh, he has uh, some scars on his chest. He's got a lot of muscles. He's got muscles on his arm printing, which you can sort of see through the white there. He has some back torso printing of muscles, and that's about it. Uh... That's a mustache, and that's a really weird mustache, uh, but he comes with this nice blade here, which looks like it has a dove on it, with uh, a, a sun, unless I'm mistaken. Um, but really cool set, I do like these figures, they are pretty cool, I did buy them just to get like uh, some of my favourite characters. I'm quite upset that Zoro didn't come in this, however, what can you do? I have Master of the Pirates now, so other than that, hope you all enjoyed, see you all next one, have a nice day, and goodbye, stay home and stay safe.